Hello and welcome to a brand new special episode of Battle Cry, the only show on Indian TV that gets you up close with our weapons, our military and the men and women on the front line of defending India. Today is a very special episode because we're on the threshold of inducting India's first attack helicopter into the Indian Air Force. History is set to descend from the skies. India's first indigenous attack helicopter. After two years in Ladakh operations, India's light combat helicopter is ready. India's Hellbird, all set to enter service. India today, the only channel to fly it. Get ready to welcome the light combat helicopter. In a spectacular ceremony in Jodhpur in Rajasthan, just a few days from now, the light combat helicopter that's been in design and development for a long time is finally entering the Indian Air Force. And I can tell you, the Indian Air Force cannot wait to operate this beautiful beast. It's a thing of absolute beauty. But it doesn't just look good. This beast is India's indigenously built attack helicopter. But that's not what the headline is to this big story. Because the light combat helicopter is all set to enter service with the Indian Air Force. That's right. The first three light combat helicopters made in India will be inducted into service at the Jodhpur Air Base on October the 3rd. For the Indian Air Force, which has always operated foreign-built attack helicopters, this is an incredible milestone. And a huge win for Atmanirbhar Bharat in defense, a calling card of Prime Minister Modi who last year ceremonially handed over one of these helicopters to the Indian Air Force. Parmanani Pradhan Mantri, Vayu Sena Dhyaksh Mahade ko, model ko, saapte huye. The three helicopters being inducted are only a fraction of at least 70 helicopters that the Indian Air Force ultimately wants to operate. The LCH comes armed with 70mm rocket pods, a 20mm chin mounted cannon, Mistral air to air missiles, and has the capability to deploy an anti-tank missile system like the Indian Helena or German Pass 3. The LCH in development since the 2000s is a modified elongated version of the trusty Dhruv helicopter manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in Bengaluru. Developed and test flown for nearly a decade by HAL, the light combat helicopter is not just made in India, but custom built for India's unique battlefield conditions, from the deserts of Rajasthan to the super high altitudes of Ladakh. The LCH's flexibility will allow it to be deployed at short notice to forward airfields with the capability to target enemy tanks, bunkers, vehicle columns or logistical movements disrupting any plans to shore up offensive power at the border. The LCH is a true blue made in India combat helicopter, the lightest in the world, and when produced at full rate, it will also be among the cheapest. While Pakistan has ordered the Turkish-built T-129 attack and China builds the Z-10, the LCH will evolve into a far more reliable machine once in operational service, mostly because of the demands that will be made on it. But above all, the helicopter entering service is made in India. And that means many of the headaches that come with foreign hardware, including premium price tags, simply evaporate. Bureau Report, India Today. Now, I'm not boasting, but I happen to be the first Indian journalist 
to actually get to fly in the light combat helicopter. I did that flight in 2019 when development and test flying was still taking place. The aircraft is a whole lot better since then, but I got a chance to actually experience what it's like to be in India's first attack helicopter. Say namaste to the light combat helicopter. It doesn't have a formal name yet, but it's already fit and ready for the fight. Developed and test flown for nearly a decade by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, the light combat helicopter is not just made in India, but custom built for India's unique battlefield conditions. From the deserts of Rajasthan to the super high altitudes of Ladakh. But what better way to get acquainted with a light combat helicopter than by taking a spin in one? I was invited by HAL's test team to strap into this helicopter and get a never before taste of what this Swadeshi combat chopper is truly all about. India today has been invited to be the first journalist team to fly in and experience the light combat helicopter developed and tested by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. This is India's first attack helicopters. It has missiles, it has rockets, it has guns, and we happen to be the first ever media crew who's going to get a taste of the light combat helicopter. For a flight in the LCH, I have to get into the full pilot kit from overalls to flying boots. Joined by HAL test pilot Wing Commander Subhash John, we walk out onto the airfield to the waiting helicopter, soaking in the unforgiving Bengaluru sun. And it is here that I receive a crucial part of the flying experience I'm about to have. A combat flying helmet equipped with a helmet-mounted sight. An electro-optical system used by pilots to point various weapons at their targets. But more on that in just a bit. First, the inside of the light combat helicopter itself. Constructed with a sleek tandem cockpit rather than the usual side-by-side -side seats on other helicopter types, the LCH from the outside sports a stealthy front profile that also gives adversaries a smaller, harder target to latch onto. Wing Commander Subhash and I belt up and then the engines come on. The rumble of the twin Shakti turbo shaft engines come to life, rapidly turning the rotors into a steady chop. The helicopter is now ready to taxi out. With all checks done and cleared by air traffic control, the LCH gently lifts off. In airspace over Bengaluru, the light combat helicopter is put through a series of maneuvers, demonstrating its agility in the air and carefully customized flying qualities. The effortless handling that Wing Commander Subhash demonstrates at low altitude validates the years of tough flight testing that has gone into refining the LCH into the flying machine it is today. Returning to the tarmac after a 25-minute flight, I've just had the most personal possible tryst with an aircraft that stands on the threshold of Indian military service. The amazing thing about the light combat helicopter is, even before its induction, it has had battle experience because for the last two years a pair of these helicopters have been deployed in Ladakh during the standoff with China along the line of actual control and they've been performing all manner of missions including close air support for troops very close to the actual frontier with the Chinese. How did it do? Take a look. Something that has never happened in India before. A piece of military hardware pushed into a live operational area even before it has formally entered service. This was August 2020 when the Indian Air Force decided to have two indigenous light combat helicopters delivered by HAL to Ladakh where the massive standoff with China was escalating. A bold move, 
seeing an opportunity to give the new helicopter prototypes a torture test in the best possible scenario, a live operational setting. It was a massive show of faith that has paid off big time with the Indian Air Force now formally inducting the helicopters into service and kicking off its long-awaited light combat helicopter journey. The Ladakh experience has been described as top class, with the Indian Air Force frequently flying its top brass in the new machine, a show of trust and commitment to the indigenous aircraft. Flying in from Bengaluru in 2020, the two LCHs in Ladakh flew armed patrol sorties between Leh and other air bases, including forward areas along the line of actual control in Ladakh as part of a sharp force projection deployment. The missions came at the Indian Air Force's request, a deep show of support for the inbound combat helicopter that will populate units of both the Indian Air Force and Indian Army with total orders expected to top 150. In 2020, 10 Indian Air Force Vice Chief Air Marshal Harjit Singh Arora flew in an LCH from Thois to Leh in Ladakh, very close to the line of actual control, a huge show of faith during a warlike situation with China. Flying with an HAL test pilot, the then Vice Chief had taken off from Thois in full mission configuration, even carrying out a simulated attack on a high altitude target. After the attack, a simulated aerial combat profile was flown to demonstrate the LCH's maneuverability. While light combat helicopter airframes have seen trials in lay periodically for years, most notably in 2015, the 2020 operational deployment is hugely significant and has chiefly been responsible for the Indian Air Force speeding up its induction this year. Operating with Indian Air Force pilots alongside the US supplied AH 64E Apache attack helicopters, operational pilots got to fly the Indian combat chopper in a live operational setting for the first time to truly see why this purpose built rotorcraft will be an undoubted asset in that forbidding terrain and crucially, one that can be deployed at those heights all year round, something literally no other helicopter on earth can do. While force projection is the intent and the show of faith is valuable, there's no getting away from the fact that the light combat helicopters are incompletely weaponized at this time and don't have crucial anti-armor missiles fully operational. The good news is there could be forward movement on that with the induction into the Air Force providing its own momentum and compulsions. War machines take time to get busy in operations. With the LCH, it has happened the other way round. It has acquired priceless operational experience in a literal war-like scenario, even before its induction. And nothing can beat that. Bureau Report, India Today. Research into better and harder helicopters for the armed role is a continuous process. The light combat helicopter is India's first, but the future of attack helicopters is very much work in progress. In fact, in some countries, it's already here. Take a look at this. And let me now tell you a little bit more about the light combat helicopter. Let's tell you where this helicopter program actually began. It was in 2006 that the design and development of the light combat helicopter began as a modification of the existing Dhruv helicopter program. But it was four years later in 2010 that this helicopter took its first flight, lifted off the ground in March 2010 in Bengaluru. It became the first attack helicopter to land at the world's highest battlefield in Siachen and was formally handed over to the Indian Air Force in 2021, last year by Prime Minister Modi. Now, the overall project cost so far is about 3.76 billion rupees, which is absolutely nothing when you think about what it really takes to get a helicopter like this into the realms of reality. Let's tell you a little bit about some of the other specifications of this helicopter. It runs on a twin Shakti turboshaft engine. These are licensed produced from France. It has a top speed of about 268 kilometers per hour. Uh, it has a maximum takeoff weight of about 5,800 uh, kilograms. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a medium to heavy he attack helicopter, has a range of about 550 kilometers even with weapons. An endurance of about three hours, which may not seem like much, but for an attack helicopter, that's pretty much optimum. Service ceiling of about 
21,300 uh, feet is what this helicopter can fly. It's got all the bells and whistles that a modern attack helicopter must have. Helmet mounted display, a proper electronic warfare suite, all of the weapons, night attack capability, night vision capability in the cockpit, certain stealth features which I have to tell you are being improved uh, pretty much progressively at this time. Since it's an attack helicopter, it has armor protection for the cockpit. Let's tell you about the weapons on board the light combat helicopter at this point of time. On its chin, you can see that 20 millimeter Nexter cannon. That's the, uh, something that is slaved to the helmet mounted sight and the controls of the helicopter. So pilots can simply look at targets and target them with that gun. They've got 70 millimeter rocket pods. They've got French origin Mistral air to air missiles as well. Uh, the fitment of anti-tank missiles is a work in progress right now. They're not fully operational just yet, but they will be very soon. Also the possibility of anti-radiation missiles being fitted on the light combat helicopter. Also cluster bombs, unguided bombs of all varieties, uh, you know, will be uh, deployable from this particular weapons platform. And here's wishing all our Indian Air Force LCH pilots happy hunting and happy landings. Jai Hind, thanks for watching.